What's crappin'? Looks like we got a little side quest here. So, this company reached out to me, and they're called Carpew Ride or Car Carpew Ride or something like that. Anyway, they make this little funky device where you can take an old jalopy like this one and give it Apple CarPlay. Now, it's not really something I need, but has a optional reverse cam, which wouldn't hurt. As you could probably tell, this truck isn't exactly a slice to back up and do a tight parking space. So, let's crack her open and see what the heck's going on. All right, so inside this rig, you're going to find all kinds of goodies, all right? So this one's called the 901 Pro. It's a 9-inch screen. It's got all the bells and whistles. I'll get more into detail here. I already opened it up because I wanted to see what was in it. But this is the screen. Look at that. Look at that big. Now, this is the only thing I don't like. I don't like their mounting system because I would love to be able to put like a like a ram mounts ball and socket style mounting bracket. But anyway, it is what it is. So that's the screen. We'll lean that right up against the dirty uh, bench grinder because that's smart. And we'll get into the uh, to the goodies. So you got a big uh, 3M stick pad here for one of the brackets, which will be this one. So you get this guy, which I'm probably not going to use. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. So loosen off that guy there. You can rotate this. You tighten that up. It, it makes it nice and snug. So oh, I got to move my hand down here. So uh, you know, eh, it's all right. I'm not overly excited about this, but that's one option. Okay. So then. You've got this bracket or this suction cup base, which might work because I have a plastic dash in that first gen Dodge. So adjustable that way, adjustable that way, which, you know, if you really want to get her vibrating and shaking, that's how you do that. You stick that all the way out and send her to the moon. And then you have a ball and socket here. So it'd be cool if you could modify this. Maybe you can. I don't know. But anyway, that's probably going to be the one I'm going to go with. Next, you got your power supply. You've got another base, I think, to do suction cups, so you can screw that right to your vinyl dash, which would be absolutely horrific. Don't do that. But that's an option. You've got a uh, aux cord, which, according to other reviews I've seen on this exact setup, it's better to run this directly from the screen to your head unit because you're going to get better audio so I, I guess we'll figure that out in the long run and then here you've got your backup camera which I don't know if it's going to be long enough so it, it you know there it is it's got it looks like it's got night vision or something going on there I don't know what those are there maybe there's LEDs maybe it's not night vision I don't know I don't like this having that underneath your vehicle exposed is not ideal right here this little lead is going to be the one you'll tie into your reverse light so when you throw it in reverse, the camera automatically comes on. I don't know if I'm going to have enough because if we zoom over here, this truck, I don't know. You know what? Let's, let's, let's just, just for fun here. I don't know the exact length of it. I got a 16 foot measuring tape right here. I want to say this thing's probably 20 something. So I don't know if I can go about Let's go. Ooh, she hasn't been out to 16 foot. So let's go to 15. Okay, so 15 feet there. say right here yeah 20 feet give or take so I don't know how much length we've even got <laughs> so let's uh, let's take a peek here maybe there's something inside this wonderful little manual manual that tells you how many feet you got maybe not Anyway, we'll figure it out later. Let's put it in. 
So I was kind of thinking of putting it right here. So we'll try out the suction cup mount and see what happens. Because having it up here is not going to be good because then my gauge pod is going to be in the way. So I'm thinking suction cup right here, have it kind of dangling off to the side. So let's pull off this uh, safety seal here. Oh, it's very sticky. We really got to make sure we get this right. All right. Clip on. Already got her upside down. Man, turn it around. Clip. So, I should have left that safety seal on until I figured out where I wanted it. So I'm thinking, oh no, I don't know if I like that. Where's that safety seal at? <laughs> Maybe I'll just give that a quick dab -a Put that right back on there for a sec. So I can sit it down and take a look. So you can extend that out and turn it. So right there would be kind of all right, but then the problem I'm running into, it's gonna shake like a sieve. Let's tighten that up. Tighten this up. Oh, I could do that maybe. There it is, it's on. That's it, that's the spot. Now let's see if I can bring it down. That. There it is. This is what we're working with here. Okay folks, got a little carried away here. So. The best way for me to run it, ironically, was right here. I couldn't really, this was it. This is stuck up because of sun-baked BS. So that worked out, I don't really care, that's fine. So this is the camera, it's facing backwards. It's routed all the way up there. What a pain in the butt that was, I'll tell you right now. But I was able to make it work, check this out. There you go. So yeah, after a little messing around, there we are. We got a backup camera now. That's gonna come in pretty damn handy. If you got an old truck like me, first gen Dodge, it's the purple wire with the black tracer. That's your reverse light wire. So all you gotta do is splice into that guy. And you're good to go. Let's take it for a spin. Okay, it's a little hard to show you how everything's working here, but you know, it bounces a little bit. It's not 100% sturdy. I definitely wish there was a better setup for myself. Like I'm sure if it was further up on the dash and it was sitting there, I wouldn't have such a problem. But I think I can, I could probably deal with that. That's not a huge deal. You can go into your maps, you got full nav, you go back, you got text messages, you got Spotify. Spotify is giving her right now, or was, it turned it off, but. You got all these goodies and then of course you got your reverse camera so you know what for the price i think it's like 230 something bucks uh this ain't too bad and you can also do um you can also go back to uh car home and then go to uh airplay so you can watch movies on this too so it's hard to show you with my phone recording at the moment but i think you guys get the idea but uh and then you got your reverse camera so it isn't the best. It doesn't have like a night vision mode or anything like that. So during the night, it's not overly ideal, but I can always do this on this truck. I've got reverse lights and I can change the scope back and forth like that. It's a pretty cool little setup. So, you know, not, not too, too bad. Pretty sweet little unit. All right, we're gonna test out the uh, reverse camera backing into the driveway here. Turn this on. Whoop. All right, turn these wipers off. There we go. Let's see how this works. Yeah, that's pretty snazzy, man. <laughs> there 
Straight on. So yeah, overall, this little unit's not too bad. I was actually uh, kind of impressed with a lot of the functions that it had. Um, the 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 Apple CarPlay is not something I've ever had before. But the newest vehicle I own is a 1996. Uh, that one there uh, that I just installed it on is a 1993. So uh, the AirPlay option is also really sweet because I have the uh, option to say, you know, I do a lot of road tripping. And, uh, you know, I, I'm driving down the road. I get tired, want to pull over, eat some food, watch a movie. I can, I can AirPlay my phone right to that 9-inch monitor and watch a movie if I want to, which is super sweet. Uh, the backup camera is a huge plus for this truck, uh, you know, being in going into the city or whatever. I've always kind of wanted to put a, a, a reverse camera on it, but this is definitely a better option than just buying one of those like uh, cab cams or one of these other variants of just a reverse camera. So you've got a screen in there that's only for the reverse camera. This is definitely a cooler option because you've got all these other, uh, you know, deals going on with it. So anyway, thank you to Carpy Ride for sending me this bad boy. I'm definitely probably going to buy another one. Uh, or I'm going to buy buy one for my, my short box truck because this thing is actually super cool. So I'll post a link for it, and uh, you guys go check them out. Thank you very much. Have a good one.